Welcome to this New Year's Eve program where I am going to talk about the past year before we finally celebrate the new year with a yearly toast. Twenty twenty two started out really good with me getting a nasty flu just weeks after I announced I had been flu free for about two years. The thing I got was apparently COVID. Then in February, Russia invaded Ukraine, a war that has been occupying both mine and a lot of other people's minds ever since. The Russian government has become like a really bad force. You don't understand a word what they are saying or what they are up to. Has any one of you, for instance, noticed how they are literally quoting lines from the Star Wars movies? That's apparently where they got inspiration from when they started the war. Or maybe it's just history repeating itself. And the special operation is of course equivalent to Order 66. It's impossible to know where the war is heading, but I'm sure it will get an abrupt end before the summer comes along. I have been producing more videos for YouTube than ever before this year, and I would have produced a lot more of them if I had not been as busy as I have been. Like last year, I have been working in the garden, and new for this year is that I have been growing my own plants from fruit and berry seeds, which has been a really tough job. Most of these plants has unfortunately died. But here's one of them. Look how pretty. This is an apricot tree. It took me several months to grow this particular one. I have continued working on my forthcoming book about the village of Alsta but wasn't able to complete it in time to have it released this autumn. I'm instead aiming for a release in the summer of 2023. On June 21st, Beyoncé released her latest single, Break My Soul. She did it with the intent it was going to coincide with the summer solstice. And many of her fans has been confused as to what she meant by her statement. She actually found inspiration from me after I in 2016 found the remnants of a prehistoric snake formation in the village of Valsta, Arbro, Sweden. And I have been teaching her all about the summer solstice. Now when I am mentioning this, I want to announce for next year, I am actually planning to release a book about my discovery. And keep your eyes out for that release. It might come sooner than expected. The best thing I've seen this year is without any doubt Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney+. Plus. And the worst thing I've seen is Andor on the same streaming platform. A show about one of the most boring Star Wars characters ever, in my opinion. It completely lacks all of the Star Wars magic that we have all come to love. And frankly, they just talk too much in the show. I'm working on a website since August. I'm working on a webshop too, where I'm going to sell self-produced items. But coding a webshop isn't easy, and I have failed with every attempt. This is something I am working on, and I might already have found a solution. It's almost time now. In about 30 seconds, the new year will arrive. I'm going to prepare a glass with some Julmust. Mm. I 
I didn't mean 30 seconds, I meant actually one minute. So in about 30 seconds from now. Okay. I hope this will be the best year ever. 2023. Almost time now. Cheers. A happy new year. Okay. That's it. I don't have much more to say. So I think we will say goodbye now. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.